I made my first rubble egg crane flies in the late 1990s and they proved so effective that I wrote an article about them in Fly Fisherman magazine in February 2002. Then followed some patterns in the same style that also proved very good, all tied with the very thin micro round rubble eggs. This is an excerpt from the fly tying part of the DVD, Rettbom's Fem, Velprøvde Norske Rettfluer in Norwegian. In English, that is Trap M5 Proven Norwegian Trap Patterns. And here, how to tie the Bruns BBO. The BBO Pomanawa has those red legs. The BBO Mars's legs are all black. Now we are going to tie a BBO imitation, the Bruns BBO. First we are going to wrap a base layer with the tying thread. A tip here, keep the bobbing close to the hook shank for good speed and control. Now we are going to tie in the micro polish nail extended body, the dark grey color for the BBOs. Cut off a short piece and burn it quickly at the end to make a taper. So lengu den som peke litt bak flua. Tie it in so that the micro polish nail extend a bit beyond the hook bend. There we have a nice BBO abdomen. Then dub sparsely onto the thread and make the first dubbing wrap lock the first fibers. Then fill in the gap close to the micro polish nail and make some snug wraps halfway up the shank. Then we are going to tie in the wings. For this fly I use something called clear wing which I think gives a pretty good impression on this fly. These wings are clear, but I like to give them a hint of color with a grey waterproof marker. Tie them in on top of the fly so that they extend a little behind the end of the body. Cut off the butt ends. Then we are going to tie in some black polycelone foam on the BBO. Then grab six micro round rubber legs and tie them in as follows, pointing forward. Fasten them with some snug wraps like this and cut off the butt ends. 
Och så. Ska vi. Now we shall color the legs to the right BBO Pomona color. As you can see, they are originally tan colored. I put on a small amount of dubbing in between. I've knotted the two first legs. And the first part, going all the way to the first knot, we are going to color orange red. Then we grab the rest and also color them orange red, about half their length. About. But the reason I use a tan color is that I'll take the orange red color pretty well without being the too bright white under color. Then I color the last part all black. In my opinion, we have some perfect bibio pomenal legs about here. Color, shape and movement on the water. I've already put on the dubbing, so make one wrap beyond the foam to fill the gap. Then pull the first knotted leg backwards and make a wrap of dubbing. Then the knotted leg on the other side and make a new wrap of dubbing. And then we pull the rest backwards one by one as we separate them all with just one wrap of dubbing. The last two pairs are tied in pointing forward to make all six look all spread out as a crash landed BBO. Grab them two pointing forward and make a couple of wraps just behind the hook guy. For the hash can emily wing second come on. Tie in the foam, not too tight so it loses floatability. <laughs> Tie a couple of whip finishers and the fly is almost completed. Cut off the foam buttons and leave just a short head-like part reaching over the hook guy. Trim the legs to right length. This is the finished fly. In my opinion, the perfect BBO imitation. The rest is Yable Yable on our region about the BBO Marcy during spring and Pomonao during fall. Thank you. Genial, skal love deg at vi skal ta